and welcome to Funk. Today is Wednesday, November 6, 2019. I'm Erica Daly. And I'm Caroline Hudak. In today's news, the chip brand Pink Pringles will be launching a turducken stack flavor as part of their Thanksgiving feast marketing for the holidays. <laughs> the box comes with six different flavors of chip. Turkey, chicken, duck, stuffing, cranberry sauce, and pumpkin pie. The weather for today will be sunny with a high of 68 and a low of 46. Zeta Tau Alpha will be holding an event called Zeta Mac and Z's from 5 to 7 today on the DH lawn. Tickets are $5. Contact a sister if you're in. There will be a Diwali celebration at 6.30 today in Trone Student Center walk-ins room. This primary educational component of this event is a lecture about the religious and cultural significance of Diwali, the festival of lights to communities in South Asia. The guest speaker will lecture on the festival's origins, associated folklore, and regional variations. The award-winning film, It's Criminal, follows the journey of a group of Dartmouth students and incarcerated women as they work together to write and perform an original play that facilitates learning, compassion, and relationship building within the group. Check it out at 7 tonight in Burgess Theatre. Come see Bob Dotson, an award-winning former NBC News correspondent, at 4 tomorrow in McEachern. At the CLP, he will share his experiences and his passion for telling stories. The CLP will acquaint Furman students with an acclaimed television news reporter who can speak honestly about his profession and its responsibilities in American society. A Bite of China is a three-season Chinese TV documentary series sponsored by the Chinese National Television Station. Its director is a renowned Chinese director and producer who has started making a food documentary since 1989. Check it out at 6.30 tomorrow in Patrick Lecture Hall. The Furman Fall Choral Concert, held at 7 on Thursday in the Chapel Main Sanctuary, is a performance shared by Furman Singers and Belle Vokai, formerly Furman Women's Choral. The, the program includes a variety of sacred and secular choral music from the Baroque and Romantic periods and modern music by living composers. Roll out the red carpet and bring your bags of popcorn for Spanish Movie Night every Wednesday at 7 p.m. in North Village, Apartment Building A, Room 302. This week, it will be holding a miniature short film festival, including movies across all Spanish-speaking countries. Furman Alternative Breaks is a group that challenges participants to reflect critically on their role in the global community through service, activism, academic inquiry, and leadership. They'll be hosting information about this school year's alternative breaks today and tomorrow during a lunch block in, in the front of James B. Duke Library. Looking to do a summer internship this school year but don't know how to apply? There will be summer internship information sessions today from 12.30 to 1.20 p.m. and December 4th from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. in the Watkins Room. These sessions will let you know how to apply for funding for low or unpaid full-time summer internships or off-campus summer research. Palmetto Pride, an organization within South Carolina that addresses the prevention of litter, will be teaming up to start their Grab a Bag campaign on Friday. They will kick off the campaign with a media event from 9 to 11 a.m. in Traveler's Rest. The Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies will be holding a drop-in luncheon on Friday during the lunch block in Furman Hall 214. Everyone is welcome and students can learn more about the minor, requirements, and opportunities it holds outside of Furman. On Friday, Furman's men's basketball hosts Loyola Chicago in the home opener of the 2019-2020 season. The game will be a purple out, and the first 300 Furman students through the gates will receive a free purple Furman Hoops t-shirt. Plus, the first 500 fans through the gates will get a purple light stick. That's all we have for today, Paladins. Make sure to check out our website, www.cantstopthefunk.com, to submit announcements and to watch all of our previous episodes. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and download the Funk mobile app to keep up with everything that's happening on Furman's campus. Have a great National Nachos Day and tune in again on Friday for our next episode.